welcome you back to my youtube channel this has been such a long time coming i mean uh, i've not sat down for a while to record but today we are so much blessed because we are glanced in the presence of a guest obviously when we have a guest that's an amazing thing because i don't get to speak to myself you know yeah. so everybody welcome to today's youtube channel we are going to speak about our experience living abroad and i am seated with the lovely amazing connie i would allow her to introduce herself in a short while but let me remind you if it's your first time being here watching our youtube channel rosalia shova official please don't forget to subscribe like and let us know in the comment section what has been your takeaway from the video connie welcome thank, thank you. you for being here thank i'm you. so happy to <laughs> speak to you please thank introduce you. yourself thank you tell so them much. everything that you would love them to know Okay, um, hi guys, my name is Connie. I am also a content creator and um, I do anything lifestyle and um, travel. Yeah, thank you so much for yeah. having me and uh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I'm so glad to speak to you also. Just that connection because us as content creator, we'll get to relate and mm -hmm. like, yes girl, let's meet and shoot some videos, you know, because Definitely. it's not an easy thing Definitely. so yes you mentioned you're a content creator mm -hmm. you do travel and lifestyle maybe you can share with the audience what what's your favorite what which country have you been to which country did you enjoy traveling to how has your traveling journey been like as a content creator um okay thank you very much for the question yeah Rose. yeah um as she mentioned or as i mentioned mm -hmm. in the beginning I am a travel creator mm -hmm. on YouTube, mm -hmm. so I have uh, I've been to quite a few, not so many. Mm -hmm. um, I lived in Netherlands, mm -hmm. and I traveled to Belgium, mm -hmm. and I've been to the UK. Mm -hmm. I've been to South Africa. Mm -hmm. I have been to Mauritius. Yes. What else? Where else? Mm -hmm. Did I mention UK? Yes. Okay. You've mentioned. Where else? Where mm -hmm. else have I been? So in Africa, it's South Africa, Namibia, and yeah. Mauritius. Mauritius, Mauritius as well. Yes. Yeah, I get to forget Mauritius is an African country, I but know, right? yeah, it's kind of far. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's the number. Yeah. yeah. So those are many question uh, countries. That's that, that's applicable, you know. Yeah. Those are a lot of countries. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I don't know. Um, I, I cannot really mm -hmm. specify which mm -hmm. country was my favorite since yes. every country has its own, you know, ups and downs. Yes. So when I was in Europe, I loved it because it was my first time mm -hmm. there and I enjoyed being there. Yes. And although it doesn't really give us uh, much space to explore things mm -hmm apart from being in the city yeah so i loved it okay. and um the african countries yes mm, <laughs> that's where the tea, the, the, the beauty yes. is the beauty the african be i mean the african countries yes. um maybe i have my favorite yes. i don't know but okay. don't come for me yeah don't i'm just right. saying okay cool right you mentioned you were been to netherlands did you live there yes how long have you been there um yes i mm. have been to the netherlands and i've been there for one year okay yeah right because we'd love to explore the journey of a lot of africans mostly or mm -hmm. rather global yeah. expert community to explore how has your experience been like to live abroad not in your motherland and being away from home mm -hmm. and all that so i would love to start off with our uh, maybe how did you get there how did you go there just to pull in people into the experience and what was the first day like living in netherland oh wow <laughs> <laughs> okay um when i when i was i was i was how old by the time yeah was it 27 yeah 27 maybe mm -hmm. uh, I've been wanting to go abroad for the longest time mm -hmm. and um, when I was working for Red Cross Namibia okay. I was planning to go to Germany with a volunteer program mm -hmm. and that didn't work mm -hmm. because they needed someone that stayed for a year in mm -hmm. the um, workplace okay. so I've been only there for a few months mm -hmm. and things didn't go as planned so 
I have been searching for opportunities online and I found this other um, exchange program. Yes. It's actually a South African mall based mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. and Namibia was just incorporated in mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and um, I applied and I was eligible and then I was sent yes. to the Netherlands. Yes. So yeah, um, just to, to to be quite honest, yes. it was it was a journey yes. from Namibia. Mm -hmm. You know when um, when it's your first time traveling to a new country, yes, it's gonna be hectic. Yes, yes, <laughs> I do understand that. So me being in the plane for the first time, mm. I went to South Africa, but it was not with a plane. So yes. Now this time I have to go to bigger countries, the yeah. third world countries, yes. guys. Um, it was not easy. I have to navigate things by myself mm. with the little knowledge that I got from my cousin that lived in Cuba. Yeah, I was uh, like, um, I, I, I did a few interview with him to ask him how to do this mm. at the airport, how to go through the next, and he told me everything. Yes, so. I think it was not it was not as hard as I thought. It was just the mind. Yes. I think I plotted it it in my mind that mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard, but it's it's it's, it's an easiest thing to do. As yes. as much as you have to go through different processes, it, it's it was not so hard. Yes. Yeah. I, I relate that because even for us when we travel to China for the first time, yeah. at least the lucky thing we had, we went as 10 people, 10, 10 of us on the plane. Yes, from that Namibia. Was, yes, for Nam, oh, from Namibia. That's so, nice. so it was it was not like a thing of you're doing it alone. So I can, I can imagine. Yeah. And just getting the whole system of getting China, swipe here, swipe there, get this. That was obviously like, okay, what are we doing? Where are we at? Oh, did I finish this? You know, but eventually you just get through it yeah yeah and um my first day in netherlands yes so i think i arrived around this time okay from frankfurt to amsterdam yes and i was so happy mm. i was very happy like wow i'm here mm. i never thought i'll be here and looking at the countries from the plane yes the development shook yes. me <laughs> It shook me. We are used to small, this, yeah, small <laughs> things just here and there. You know, we are few in Namibia. Yes. So those countries, mm. buildings, yes, architecture, mm. people, so many people, beautiful buildings. Yeah, I was stunned by the beauty and yes. by the number of people. You know, I was used to Namibia where we mm. only have, you go to town now, yes. you will not find a lot of people. Yes. You go to a European city, mm. it's like everybody is out of their houses. <laughs> That's Honestly, so true. That's so true. Yeah. I was very shocked. I was yeah. like, what is, so what is happening? Yeah. The airport was full, guys. Yeah. So, so many people. Mm. And at some point, I got overwhelmed. But I didn't want that moment to mm. steal away my joy of, yes, I have landed in Netherlands. Yes. Yeah, so... To sum it up, my day was beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it so, was so... Because that's what I wanted to do. And yeah. I'm here now in Amsterdam. So what? Yeah. Yes. I know that could be a moment of you doing a happy dance in like you landed in the hotel and you're like, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. And then you want to like call your family or friends online and you're like, guys, I've landed. I've made it. Made it I've made it now. <laughs> yeah. I've made it now. Okay. Mama made it. <laughs> yeah. Mama, I made it. I, I can imagine that. Yeah. Right. So uh, you, mentioned, uh, you mentioned you've been there for one year, right? Mm -hmm. um, maybe I would say, speaking of the culture, yeah, what... what cultural concepts that could be maybe different from what you experienced in Namibia or just speaking about culture in general what was it like and what was your experience okay yeah. um cultural differences yes is another thing guys yes wow i was i was super shocked by their food mm. the way they carry themselves mm. and all that so Wow, in Namibia, I was used to eating the food mm. that 
um, that are culturally ours yes. here in Namibia. Yes. So when I went there, I was sort of expecting to find a few, mm. a few. Yes. I didn't go with the mind of, yes, I'll find everything, but a few of mm, African things in, at least in their shops or in their houses. Yes. But it was a different thing. Mm. So that, that shook me as well. Mm. So I was, um, I was I was not um, I was not shying away from the fact that I have to incorporate myself into a European culture. Yeah. It was a must that when you go there, you have to immerse yourself in a European culture. culture yes. And uh, I sort of forgot my culture. Mm. Like I have to put my culture at the back. Yes. Because I came to experience a different culture in yes. a different country, country. with different mm. people yes. different race yes so it was it was a different experience it was it was sort of not what i thought but at least i got an idea that mm. um i don't always have to do things as i did them back home yes yeah yes I love that because that's what it does. It opens you up to a different horizon in a way when you're living abroad. Yeah. And maybe what was your highlight? Like being there for a year? Oh, wow. Yeah. I think um, traveling yeah. to different cities. Yes. You know, just to go out a little bit out of the topic. Okay. I had a YouTube channel okay. that was taken down oh, really? for uploading. Yeah, that one was, I think, at um, 600 or 500. Oh, wow. Yeah. And all the videos that I did, okay, I only have oh my gosh. one video from Netherlands and yes. two from uh, UK, yeah. London. Yes. So the, the other videos, the content, mm. how I started YouTube, were all gone. Right. So when I was traveling, I used to film videos and upload them on that YouTube channel. Mm. Now that I lost it, I, I felt like I've lost part, part of, of me. Yes. So yeah, um, traveling around Europe or um, in around um, Netherlands yes. is something that I always did during weekends. Mm -hmm. Friday once i'm done with work i'm yes. out yes because you don't get the time back mm. time is going and you only have 12 months remember mm. yes so every friday i always encourage myself to go out there and wow. experience and meet new people oh, and wow. um, just go and eat food meet people and experience the culture and everything and yeah I love and that. And expand your horizon as yes. well. Yes. You're just not there to work. Mm. You have to expand your horizon so that um, when you are done with what you're doing, you can mm. at least have a backup plan yes. to do another thing. Yeah. So my highlight was traveling yes. around Europe. Yes. I really loved it. Um, the cities, their yes. cities are stunningly yes. beautiful. Yes. I'm telling you, mm. guys, you should travel to see. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not just saying. Yes. She have lived in China, and I'm <laughs> sure China is one of the mm. fastest economy in the world. Yes. yes. And um, the sky, the sky skyscrapers. Yes. So skyscrapers. Yes. Yes. In China. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I was I was stunned by the architecture, yes. the way people behave, mm. the way people carry themselves. Mm. I feel like people have respect. Yes, like they they don't go into your personal space. Mm. They don't invade mm. it. It's 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 just so beautiful that people mind their businesses. Yeah. I love that. Mm. I love that. Yeah, you really gave um, a very strong point there. I would say, not a strong point, but I think it's a good tip for people to take away. If it's nothing at all from this video, like when you're abroad, you need to put yourself out there. Just the same yes. way you used to say. If you've yes. met people, you've traveled, you've eaten the food. Sometimes when you're abroad, you will feel like, I'm lost, I don't know where. But you can start from just putting yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. you know when you travel mm. to different countries, mm -hmm. you have to be open-minded. Yes. 
if you open up your mind you will be a free person yes if you go to a country mm. with uh expectations yes you will disappoint yourself that's true. just open up your mind mm. and experience the culture immense in it mm. and even if it takes you to even if it takes um a long time to adapt yeah mm -hmm. even if it takes you like time to mm -hmm. adapt to it mm -hmm. you have to do it yes. it's the only way you can experience mm -hmm. the full culture of other people you yes. know Im um, imagine going to a different country especially china yes china the way people portray china yes sorry about yes. this disclaimer yes. disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> yes yes the way people see china is mm. um no they eat that they mm. eat that they eat that but there are some places i'm mm. sure you find that have a different perspective from what you are portraying out there yes and it's not about cats and dogs mm. and whatnot so if you go to a country with an open mind yes. i'm sure you will enjoy yes for me i was always motivated by my hosts yes so i have a host mm. and they're always saying connie go yes friday what yes. are you, what are your plans yes they always <laughs> every week oh, they have to ask connie what is your plan oh I'm like, i love that i don't have I don't mm. have any plan. Mm. And they're always like, no, you have to go quality. Yes. And they're always recommending me parties. Yes. Um, to party with their friends. Yes. Or to go out and travel mm. with other people. Mm. Or to connect me with other people. So we go to other countries. Yes. So I felt like, I felt loved. Yes. Yeah. And um, I feel like they have also helped me to to just go out there and experience mm. the life yes you know sometimes as an expert mm. in another country mm. for an immigrant or yes expat? expert yeah mm -hmm. in other countries mm. you you sometimes wake up with with no motivation yes the homesick that's the true. homesickness yes. Like you just don't feel like doing anything mm. you are just thinking about home <laughs> I know, right? yeah like sometimes when i speak to my family mm. this was a big mistake mm. always when i speak to my family i go oh my battery goes down mm. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah i can imagine that i can imagine that yeah my battery really, really goes like mm. low so i always oh. avoided these little talks with my family mm. maybe once in a while mm. not every day or every weekend mm. just to get adapt to it because speaking to my family was like i live with them mm. but it's also hindering my joy stealing away my joy mm. and the fact that i have to go out there yes. i just want to be speaking to my yes. family every time yes. so i was like okay now I have to go out there and just do whatever that's the truth because i only get this once in a lifetime yes. so and and guys remember when i came to europe i mm. came with an intention to mm. experience everything yes. before turning 30 yes. the three zero yes yeah <laughs> that's a good one the three yeah. zero was not um like i was not ready to experience mm. the side of the world mm. when i'm th i was 30 so mm. i was like this is my motivation i have been praying to god to give me this mm. opportunity so i got it why should i want to go back home mm. but i have to adapt and yeah and uh, the way people thought mm. about me being abroad mm. uh, they were like no you are living a good life i wish i was you yes. and I was just like, oh wow, you don't know what is. Yeah. You don't know like what is. Here. You don't know you, what is in the background. Yeah, mm. this is all you see. Mm. This is all you. See. You don't know what it takes to be me. Mm. So, don't wish to be me. Yes, exactly. Don't wish to be me. Yeah, sometimes I don't reply. Yes, to the friends and oh, to, to the people, people who are saying they wish. Oh yeah, sometimes you wouldn't because, because they I entirely don't, don't understand. Yeah, like what it's. And I didn't want mm. to just be out there saying no. You don't know what it takes mm. to be me. Mm. 
Mm. I didn't want. I, I felt I was mean about that, mm. so I, I kept it. I was just like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love the way you highlighted. You really spoke on some challenges like homesickness, mm -hmm. and also just giving a round, all around experience of living abroad. I think what people should remember definitely is the journey of being abroad is not obviously like smooth sailing as what it is in life, right? Is what it is in life. All right. In conclusion, Kone, uh, what would you tell someone who wants to travel abroad or live abroad or who is currently abroad? Just anything uh, you would love to say. People who are in the diaspora. Yeah. Um, guys, um, living abroad is not all about having mm -hmm. and happy face mm -hmm. and um, a good uh, life it, mm -hmm. it's not about that mm -hmm. I think uh, anyone that is um, that is aiming mm -hmm. or want to travel abroad mm -hmm. you have to open your mind mm -hmm. open up your mind to experience things in life you know like a Namibian Bambo guy just um, those typical, mm -hmm. typical yeah. bamboo that is guys, yes. you know, <laughs> used to just eating pap. And mm -hmm. when you go abroad, you're like, no, um, this restaurant, mm -hmm. they're not serving me nice food. But in actual fact, the food is nice. It's only the fact that it's not pushy yeah. food, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to open your mind and just, just do it. Yeah. And then, um, life abroad is not about um sugar mm. and water or whatever mm. they say yeah so you have to be strong yes have a strong heart so you don't break yourself you yes. know um sometimes we put ourselves through things that we're not supposed to experience mm. um for instance just um imagine you always thinking about um, something negative mm. always always and you are abroad and you are alone mm. and you are the only person that you have to be there for yourself yes. so to avoid this emotional mm. um, breakdown mm. and um, uh, depression mm. you have you have to always be positive about yes. everything yes. you know there is a racism going mm. on there you have to you have to adapt to it yes or maybe yes. not adapt mm. just getting used to it yes yeah. yes you have to navigate through it yeah yeah i like that all right connie i think we'll be rounding up our videos so please go and check out her youtube channel but before we go how can people reach you speak about your youtube channel even just your the name to your youtube channel so that people can go and subscribe please go and subscribe she's heading into a road to a thousand subscribers i'm sure that pretty soon you'll get that and even not just to subscribe go and watch her youtube channel go and support her in the work that she's doing there yes how can people reach you uh and okay what's your YouTube um, channel name? guys mm -hmm. my youtube name is konia mukuyu mm -hmm. uh you can reach me on youtube konia mukuyu and um on facebook is Cornelia. no koni tulela amukuyu okay. but you can type yeah. in konia mukuyu and everything will pop up yes and on instagram is underscore tulela two number two mm -hmm. underscore tulela number two mm -hmm. so thank you so much for having me yeah. and uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and yes. i'm ready to have you yes thank you so much i'm so glad to speak to you and also just hearing your experience of living abroad i think that every time when i speak to someone who lived abroad it kind of just like take away my own stress in a way because it's soothing that thing of feeling like okay did i do the right thing when i lived abroad was it even worth it in the first place you know the such questions so you sharing with us your journey being, being abroad or even thus far mm -hmm. abroad i think that is a blessing to all of us so connie i wish you all the best thank ultimately you. all the best thank and you so thank much. you for being here please go and subscribe to her youtube channel and until our next video we'll say Goodbye. Adios. Adios. <laughs>